We want to strive together to understand more and more deeply the importance and the forms of this task which we feel has been entrusted to us together. To live and act as witnesses and agents of the gift of unity that comes from God and to communicate this gift in our relationships and in our dialogue with everyone. A mere relationship of otherness tolerance is not enough. A mysticism of unity lived and experienced in history is needed. These people that they love each other for the sake of God, God describes them and says, these are the ones that look at my creatures in the way that I do. When we look at God's people in the way that God look at them, then this love is a kind of godly love. What I understand from Shia Hadith is that in end of time, there would be people who are very closely connected to each other and united, like one body. Or we have a hadith from our first Imam, which says the people who would help the 12th Imam are the people that when you look at them, you think they are brought up by the same father and the same mother. Those who are going to be in end of time working for universal justice and peace and solidarity under our 12th Imam and Jesus should have these characteristics. Dialogue, in the way which is normally understood, it's before reaching unity. Like for example, a man and woman who are interested in exploring possibility of marriage, they have dialogue. But if you really marry and you experience unity of a married couple, then you have gone beyond the stage of dialogue. I think we are beyond the level of dialogue. We are now in unity. What we want to be in this process of wings of unity is to move from having very honest and genuine dialogue to where we both listen to God. We need two ears to listen to God. So I can use a Muslim ear and a Christian ear and try to understand the will of God. If you have not reached unity, you will get confused because there is no harmony between what these two ears hear. But if there is unity, what you hear from this and what you hear from this would help each other and you get very clear signal from God. If you don't have ego and arrogance, and if you benefit from wisdom which is available in both traditions, then you are in a better position to receive guidance from God. this competition that we are 
running together. And if I become tired or lazy or disheartened or whatever, see other people are running, I should be getting energy. But we are one team. Suppose we are in a football team. I see my teammates, they are running, they are working, they are striking. I should do something. So this is a positive competition, but competition with unity. Competition with being one team. If you win, I win. But I feel very bad if you work hard and I don't do anything. Oh God, we thank you for the gift of friendship and unity that we have received in our relation with our Fokulara brothers and sisters and our Shia brothers and sisters and other groups who are witnessing this relation. We hope that you would take us further in this journey. We know that we have already traveled great distance, but we know that we are still at the beginning. Until your name is praised everywhere in the world, until there would be no single child in the world who would have no peaceful life, our journey does not end. <laughs>